Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be setting up my savings tracker and my brand new Erin Condren monthly planner. These in the past have been called the Deluxe monthly planner. This is the planner that you guys see in all of my budget videos. So I figured today let's go ahead and celebrate the fact that the new monthly planners are out. I will have a link down below if you want to pick one of these up. They are now available like as of today but it does take a while at least in my experience to get stuff from Erin Condren lately I think it has a lot to do with everything going on in the world and so if you need a planner that starts in July like I do then I would definitely recommend picking it up so um, again I'm going to be doing a bunch of videos that go into how I'm going to set up this planner. I have so many ideas and a lot of the stuff that you guys are going to see are going to be available in my Etsy shop. Um, for example, my savings tracker that I like to use in my planner. I used it last year. I'll be using the same exact thing this year. This is available right now in my Etsy shop, Sarah Marie stickers. So I will have a link down below if you want to check it out. Um, and I will be releasing August stickers very soon. So definitely keep an eye out for that. And then I do have a walkthrough of this planner. It's a little bit different from last year. So if you want to check out the differences and stuff before you purchase it, I definitely recommend doing that. So the main the main difference is there's just a lot more pages in between each month, which is something that I have been praying for because I just desperately needed more space, like with the business, with tracking our personal finances, with wanting to add more schedules and stuff every month. I just really needed more space and so this is perfect. So when I first got the planner, of course, I looked to see if there was more pages and I was so happy that there were. And then I went through and put a sticky note on all of the pages to represent what I wanted to do with those pages because I want to be very intentional when it comes to this planner. I want to make sure that everything that we want to track and keep, you know, keep really tight with our budget is, you know, represented here. So on this page where you basically just have 12 boxes, I'm going to be doing my savings tracker. Again, I did it last year. I kept up with it and it was just really nice to see like month over month how much we were saving. Our main goal for the last couple of years after we paid off my student loans and after we paid off our one of our cars was to save more money for a new house because we have a thousand square foot house. It is super tiny and with four people now, it just doesn't make a ton of sense. Like we obviously need more space, especially with my business in the house house. So anyway, that's kind of one of our goals, but I'm going to talk more about goals and how I'm going to track them here pretty soon because we're changing things up a little bit. I've been doing a little bit of research about certain things. And so I'm definitely going to be changing the way that we've been doing things. And I think it's going to be great. So to start off with, I am going to be using some of my sticker books from Erin Condren. These are actually, this one's actually the older version. This is the designer sticker book edition four in the Woven Wonders. I forgot to order two of the new sticker books. So I'm just going to use the older versions and I'm just going to use the washi strips up at the top to cover up the, um, like quotes and stuff they have, and then I'm gonna replace it with my big savings tracker stickers. So we're just gonna set this up together. I feel like it's always fun to see how people do this. So I figured I would show you guys. Again, keep an eye out because I definitely, definitely, definitely plan to have more videos coming soon about my setup. Um, I just have so many fun ideas when it comes to using this planner now, and like the fact that there's more space, it just makes it so much easier to make those changes. So I'm really, really grateful for that. But again, this planner is available right now. And again, I like to do mine, I like to have my budget planner set up for the like July through June, just because I like to have the new planner. But if you are one of those people that do, you know, like a calendar year, then obviously you have some more time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the savings and a tracker on this other side. Again, all of these boxes will be used for my savings tracker. And of course, because mine is starting in July, I'll have to start in July, although this is really like the January color and that's completely fine, not something that bothers me at all. Okay, so we're gonna just start by putting in all of the months. So again, we're gonna start with July. And I think 
trying to think if I want to put them in the middle. I think we'll just do the middle because I'm going to have everything else lined up over there. So I'm going to do July, August. Again, these are a little wonky because normally this would be like February, March, but we're just going to make it work. So September, October. I am planning to make one of these kits very similar um, to this kit for debt because I know a lot of people want to track their debt very similar to how I'm doing savings. So I will definitely have that up somewhat soon. Again, I will, I will have a link down below to my um, shop but also to my Facebook group and my Instagram for my shop because that's where I will tell you guys when there's anything that's new um, that you guys should like go and check out if that makes sense so we're just gonna go ahead and put the rest of those down tomorrow's video I'm planning to do something really fun which is going to be about net worth. I've had so many people ask about this and I've just recently been really interested in it because I'm like, you know what? I've never calculated that before. So tomorrow's video will go over that and I'm super excited to share that with you guys. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up July and show you guys how I'm going to set up July. And um, we'll kind of, I'll probably like speed through the rest of it because you don't need to see me put down like a zillion stickers. I also do have, these are like extremely sharp, extremely sharp, but I got some of these really sharp um, tweezers from Amazon. I will have them linked down below if I remember. So I could definitely use these to put stuff down. I've never tried this before, but I'm trying to think if I want to do the beginning and will be added. Uh, I think I'll do it and then maybe I just if I don't know because right now I like to do it like I have what I'm adding what I'm taking out and then what our net is for me that just makes more sense because I don't necessarily need like what it what it ends up being like total for all of our savings I just want to see what it is for that month so there's a possibility that I will not end up filling in the beginning and doing it that way but we're gonna just put it down anyway and we'll we'll figure it out. So I think the way that I set it up last time is I put, I think I can do one, skip a line for each one, I think. One, two, yeah, I think we can do that. So added, spent, these do make putting down stickers really easy. I'm surprised how easy it is to do it that way. And ending. So that's kind of how I'm going to have it set up and I will just write in the amounts after each month goes on so we can kind of keep track of what we're saving. Um, again, our goals have changed a little bit and what we're doing with our money has changed a little bit, which I will definitely go into probably in a different video. But um, we may do it this way where we're actually like tracking what's getting moved into savings if that makes sense but again that will be a whole nother video that I'll go, I'll go into it so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing right now I'll speed through it for you guys and then I'll kind of pop back in and show you guys what it looks like for all of the months and kind of go from there
so that is my whole setup everything is ready to go so that now when we have July I can go ahead and put in my beginning balance what we're adding what we spent out of savings and then put our ending I really love how it turned out I feel like it is going to be the perfect way to use this space you guys probably hear Mila she joined me for the last part of this video um, and I have to say guys I am shocked these worked and made this process so much easier so I will definitely have a link down below it came with two different versions these are extremely very sharp like I think they're really made for like doing eyelashes but I loved using these they made a huge difference when it came to putting those little stickers down so I'm gonna continue using these from now on whenever I have like tricky stickers to put down but that is pretty much it you can see I used all of the stickers there so I can throw that out um, but that is the first of many schedule is coming soon. I am super excited about how it turned out. I think it's going to work really great and I'm hoping that you guys enjoyed seeing it as well. Again, I plan to have the debt tracker available somewhat soon as well. So if you want to check out my shop or join one of the Facebook groups or the Instagram page, you can kind of keep track of when new stuff is coming. Definitely do that. I do have July stickers already out for, um, for the month and then august stickers will actually be released on the 14th so this upcoming sunday so anyway that is that i hope you guys enjoyed seeing my setup and i will see you guys next time bye guys